Hi, I'm James from Nick Snow Sport Company. Uh, we design and build handcraft custom skis in London. Once we know a bit about the rider, we use the CNC machine to start milling the core thickness and the flex profile. We're using bamboo because we can have loads of flexibility in terms of tailoring it with carbon fibre and things later on down the line. Once that's done, we use drag knives to cut out the base shape. We attach the edges by hand, bend them to shape using pliers and these are really, really accurately formed to match the shape of the bases. Once we cut the skis out at the end, this is what gives it its actual shape. We use varying amounts of carbon fibre within our core. Carbon toe, which is basically laid out on the core in different arrays, and this adjusts the kind of the feel of the ski and adds stiffness or um, pop based on what it's going to be used for. Once all of our materials are prepped, each layer is layered up in a sandwich and we use a bioresin instead of epoxies to, to flood them. So we want to make sure that all of the fibres are again wetted out properly. So we usually just go over the bottom a little bit just to make sure that the carbon fibre string is nicely wetted out. That's heated and pressed and left to cook for a couple of hours, at which point the epoxy is cured and we can remove it. So after a couple of hours in the press, the epoxy will be cured and we can take the skis out. They come out in a big block and we then cut off the flashing, which is the rough cut stuff around the outside. Once we've rough cut our skis out, uh, it's time to get them onto the base grinder to flatten the bases and really get rid of any epoxy and dirt that's accumulated. So the skis will go through several rotations of being sanded and ground to get that polished finish on the side and bases. And once that's done, it's a case of sharpening our edges to whatever desired level they need to be set at. We finish off our side walls with an oil-based finish. We'll go through a series of different brushes and this really just helps remove any of the excess wax that doesn't need to be there. And then finally waxing. The skis will typically go through three or four wax cycles before they leave the workshop. This is really just to draw any wax out of the structure of the base. Now that we've waxed our skis, the final step is just to remove the protective coating on the top and then they're good to go.